Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint and today we are doing more. <laughs> we have to do multiple different. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing so many different dogs and I'm so excited to do this with you. So we have our paper our, or the outline already pre-printed on our paper. Now, if you do not have this and you want to do this along with us, go to our website at letsmakeart.com, go to the outline library and type in dogs and you can get this to paint along. Then I'm going to be using a few different colors. You can see that they're kind of more neutral type of colors. Typically that's what dogs are, but if you want to do rainbow dogs, you can definitely do that. But we have a red, this one's called rose red dandelion yellow so grab a yellow the blue may not use but we'll see we have sepia or sepia which is a brown and Payne's gray that we're going to use to do some of the black and then make some of the lighter gray so those are my colors i'm using today now brushes i have both a big round one and a small round one if you did our other animal projects you might have seen me use this fan brush too I actually won't be using this today. I wanna to show you how if you have these brushes, we can still make some cool fur textures with these two guys. I have my brush basin, so grab a cup of water. And then if you have some crayons, it might be fun to do this at the end with me to add some texture. Now, don't wanna forget this time, so we're gonna do our motto. See so if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Uh. Boom! And then high five if you're doing this with a friend or your family. So, oh, the last thing I want to introduce you to Keenan before we start painting. So this is our cameraman, and you may hear him in the back. Hello. <laughs> okay, so dogs. There are so many types of dogs. And Lots. You probably, you definitely know way more than I do because I don't have a dog. I didn't grow up with one, but I think they're adorable and so cute and fun and friendly and kind. So why not draw some and paint some? But what I wanna show is there's a few different dogs that we got inspired by for this project. So I actually had asked our Facebook group community, and if you're not a part of Come Join, it's called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. And I asked a simple question of, can you share you and your kids' dogs? And I got so many photos. We got over like 100 people's, and it was really, really cool. So if you're one of them who submitted, I love it. Thank you for doing that. So we were inspired by a few of theirs. So each time I go to a different dog, we'll show the dog that we're inspired by. Cool. But when you're painting this, I want you to know you can do anything that you want. Sorry, I kept talking. No, that's great. Cool. <laughs> I was just saying, cool, cool. Okay. So the first step is, is we're going to start with this guy and i want to tell you why so i am right-handed and so it's easier for me to start here and go here and then here and here so i don't smear my my different dogs now if you're left-handed you might want to start with this one or just know that when you're painting it kind of lift your hand up a little bit so i just want to teach you that mm. as you're painting now Let's see, we have a few different colors. So no matter what, actually, let's make some colors to mix that you can use. So I'm gonna do equal parts, which is the same amount. So if you do a three drops of brown, I want you to do the same amount of yellow. And that's gonna make this kind of golden color. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that's a good color. Ooh, yeah, so that's kind of, a golden brown. Now I'll show you the difference. Let's do some yellow over here because maybe you have a, a more yellow color dog. So there's the yellow. Oh, wow, very bright. So do you see how it's a little bit different? Because we added some brown here and then let me show oh. you what the brown looks like. And this is all in the shot, right? Yep. Yep. Good. There. So when I mixed these two colors together, it made this kind of in-between color. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so that's one color. Then maybe you have kind of a more orangey colored dog. So we have red, so I'm just gonna do one drop of red and then three drops of my yellow because the red is really strong. So that's why we don't need as much red. Yeah, so there's kind of an orangey color. So then remember, you have your brown, you have your yellow. Let's squeeze out some of the gray. If you have a gray dog. 
And then maybe you, we can do some pink for some parts of it. So I'm gonna do the red just to have that out like that. So there are all my colors to see that we're going to use. So you just mixed all those. Now, the first one is let's show a photo. This is Biscuit and he is a mix of a retriever and a collie. Oh. So yeah, he kind of remind me of a, also the kind of look like a lab too. Lab and retrievers look similar, right? Very similar. So the first step is pick, I think. pick a base color that you want to draw. So I'm gonna go with this kind of golden brown that we mixed, and I'm gonna go for my bigger brush because I'm gonna paint the whole area. So dip your brush in water, dip your brush in your color, and you're going to paint. Now, maybe your dog is a mix of different colors, or maybe your dog has spots. Ooh, yeah, or what's that called, Br brindle, bridle, bridle? What's that? It's like a, almost looks like marbled a marble design in their fur. Oh, It's cool. so pretty. I've never heard of that word. Well, it might not be that word <laughs> specifically. <laughs> so I am painting around the nose and the eyes and the tongue of my little guy. But so see how I just did a base layer like that. Now, I'm gonna go and switch to my thinner brush now, and I'm gonna add some color on top. So let's see, maybe we'll do some of this orange, cause looking at Biscuit's photo, let's see right here. He kind of has some of that golden color and then little kind of hints more of orange. So when we're doing that, you get to decide how you wanna do this. Do you want to add some thin lines? Mm. And if so, I'm just gonna hold my brush and kind of add some fur. Do you see that? How I'm yeah. just really lightly touching? Or do you want to color in a whole spot and maybe he has a big spot like that? Ooh, that's fun. You get to decide. And so when I'm doing this, they, my paint is wet. So what's happening, this is called a wet on wet technique. So that's why it kind of blends in. If you want it to show up a little bit more with your straight line, you're gonna to want to let this dry. But either way, just want to show you, oh, so that kind of dried right there. So that's why that kind of looks like that. Like a mustache. And then you can blend in if you want. You can add some more lines. So you're just kind of adding some texture so that does, just doesn't look flat. So add some more fur lines. Again, fur, or I, I don't know if I've said this in this one, but fur lines are not in a straight, perfect line. So maybe you draw some outside of it so it kind of looks like he's moving a little bit too. Oh, good idea. So there is one. Again, if you want to add more color, feel free to do that. We're going to do the nose, the eyes, and the mouth at the very end. So let that dry. Let's move on and let's show a picture of Cowboy. Cowboy. Cowboy is a Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terrier. Is that a combo or one kind? Um, I'm a... I don't know. Can you look, look up? Are there, up. I, I'm wondering if it's like when we did the doodle dogs where there are different types of doodles. I'm curious now. Yorkshire. Okay. Terrier. So for this guy, I want to show you how to make a light color. So it looks like cowboy is kind of a lighter kind of yellow color. So I'm going to move back to my big brush because I'm going to paint a bigger area. And we have yellow right here. But what if I add water? You might know this magic trick already. If you add water to any color, it's gonna make it lighter. So I'm gonna take this light yellow and I'm gonna paint a base layer. Cause that's the step for all of these is we do a base layer and then we layer more on top of it. So it looks like terriers are a breed. Okay. And there are various types of terriers. So it's like the doodle that we learned. Yeah. And Yorkshire, AKA a Yorkie, Mm. which I've heard before, mm -hmm. is one of the smallest dog breeds. Oh, how much do they weigh? Ooh, um, well, they're between eight and nine inches tall. Oh. So they're tiny. They're cute. Yeah, they're cute. 
Okay, so I wanna show you another technique though. So remember how on this one we did the wet on wet technique where this was dry? For this one I wanna show you, or sorry, wet on wet technique when this was wet. I wanna show you a technique if this base layer is dry. So if you don't have a tool or if you do, grab your tool that looks like this, it's a heat it craft tool so you can dry it like this. But if you don't have that, you can also use a paper towel. So let me rip off a piece of my paper towel. And I'm gonna pat this. So that way it kind of dries it. Now you can't tell, but see how it kind of picked it up a little bit? Yeah. So it's drying it a little bit. Now the reason why is that this will allow you to go back to your thin brush, your small brush, and allow you to see more of these textured lines if that is the look you are going for. So let's, I'm gonna add some water to my light golden color to make it lighter and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna add some lines. So do you see that? I'm just adding some lines to my Yorkshire. And when I'm doing this, let's see if we can do a side cam so you can see, is I'm holding my brush straight up and down and I'm just gonna really lightly draw small strokes. They weigh five to seven pounds. Whoa! They're very light. <laughs> That's awesome. So when you're doing this also, the direction that you're doing it is kind of think of how, especially if you have a dog, maybe you look at, the, look at your dog and see the direction the hairs go. So typically they go out and maybe when they go more towards the middle of the face right here, they kind of go up and out. <laughs> kind of looks like some eyelashes or eyebrows. It's Isn't like, one of the, is it a Scotty Terrier? Was, oh yeah, that, I feel like that sounds familiar. Yeah, and I think that in the move, the old move, cartoon 101 Dalmatians, he's got the Scottish accent. He's hilarious. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so again, I'm adding more. So because my base layer was dry, that's why I can see more of the lines compared to this one. Now you can also go and pick up another color. So if you wanna add more color to yours, again, I'm just doing these really light, thin lines. Let's see, let's add some to the outside of Cowboy's ears. And then depending on what color the inside of the ears are, you can paint that. Maybe we'll do it like a brown and maybe you mix a little bit of black. So you get to have fun with the colors that you use. So I'm gonna do a little bit of, of inside of the ear right there. So to do this, I'm just kind of doing the same outside shape, but a little bit smaller like that. Beautiful. <laughs> so fun. So there is Cowboy. Now let's go to and introduce you to Misty. Misty. He's a beautiful dog. Oh. Misty's a rough collie. Oh, so I think she was a mix. I remember talking to her. A rough here. collie? She was a mix of a different one. They weren't sure because I believe she was um, a rescue dog. Oh, that's cool. I hope I'm getting that right. But I think that's what they mean because I don't think rough is a type of collie. Oh. But look up, what are the different types of collies? Okay. Missy reminds me of Lassie. Lassie. Right? Collie types. What kind of dog was Lassie? Uh, I think she was a... Was she that I type? I think she was a collie. Okay, so, but what I wanna teach you with Lassie is if your dog has, oops, if your dog has some parts that are black, I would start with actually the light colors first and then do the black at the end. So, looks like some of the colors we have. Kind of this golden brown again. Oh yeah, there's a border collie, a rough collie. Oh, a, a rough Sheltie. collie is a type. Yeah, and they look majestic. Oh, does it look like Misty? That was my bad then. So she is a rough collie. Well, she's gorgeous. So when I'm doing this, I am painting the base layer, but I'm painting basically where, when I look at Lassie, the parts of her or Lassie and Misty, <laughs> the parts of her that are this lighter color, it looks like she has some right here by her eyes. Ooh, some of the inside of her ear. 
is this lighter color too. So wherever you see lighter color, I want you to paint that. Maybe there's a hint of pink. Oh. So you can mix in, ooh, that looks cool. Oh, that was a lot, and that might happen to you. So you're just gonna, if you want, you could just blend it back in. But this is why I love watercolors is, it still looks cool, I added some pink. She's just blushing a little bit. Oh, maybe she's out of breath. <laughs> I think they take care of, well, I don't, I don't want to be wrong. I think, let me see. You know what, let me see. <laughs> Okay, so now we can go in. So I did the light parts. So I'm gonna go in and do some of the darker parts. Now, so we have this. This is our Payne's Gray, but it kinda looks black actually. So I'm gonna go and use it and see what happens. So let's see, I'm gonna go. Now, if your dog is a lighter color, what you're gonna do, and I'll just show you, is you're gonna do that magic trick of adding water to it. So I'll just show you. Do you see how that made a light gray? Very nice. So those are the different colors that you can use or you can make from black. You can make light gray, you can make medium gray. And what I'm doing is I'm adding really short strokes to the end. So when I did my ear, I painted the base layer. So paint the base layer. And then towards the outside, you're gonna do those small strokes again like that. So that's kind of what I did here to just add a little bit more texture. So let's go in and paint more. I'm going to paint around those spots. Whoops, that are her light color. So Collies originated in Scotland and Northern England. Cool. They are medium sized, light, fairly lightly built dogs with pointed snouts. Mm. Um, some collie breeds have remained as working dogs for herding cattle, sheep, and other livestock. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. They're, they're speedy. That makes sense. So wait, herding. so was Lassie? Oh, I don't know if Lassie. Because I just think of that. I assume she was because Lassie. Lassie. <laughs> Oh, the accent? Yes, <laughs> yes, the accent. Okay, so as we were learning about Kali, so you'll see that I added these small strokes to the outside of her because she has that beautiful black hair on the outside, and then it kind of blended in with this other color. Now, if yours is a harsh line, I want to teach you a trick. I kind of like the way that looks, but if you want to blend it, go and dip your brush in your water, hit it off to the side so it's not super, super wet, and do you see this? I don't have paint on here, but I'm just gonna kind of move around and I'm blending that in. Do you see that? Yes. So that kind of blends in and if you want that look, again, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just teaching you little things that you can do to add to your painting. Oh, I need to do her nose. Lassie was in fact a rough collie. Nice. So you nailed it. Wow, so she was a rough collie. I didn't even know that. I knew she was a... Yeah, she was it. She was it. That so was she it. Does. That's why Misty reminded me of her then. Misty, Lassie, they rhyme. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so we did Misty. Now, let's introduce you to Mabel. Mabel. Mabel is probably the exact opposite of Cowboy and is a English Mastiff. Oh, those dogs are big. I was like, how much do those dogs weigh? English Mastiffs are big. <laughs> Okay, so for the same one is I'm gonna do the same technique where we did light color first and then dark color. And I'm gonna move to my big brush. And so let's see. Mabel kind of has this like light gray, but kind of, I'm gonna see what happens if I have my light gray, mix a little bit of pink, mix a little bit of brown. Let's just see what happens. But then a light gray, so I need to add a lot of water. Hmm. And so I'm gonna do this part of Mabel first. What'd you learn? I learned that a female English Mastiff height is at least 27 and a half inches. Wow. To okay. the, at the shoulder, so not even at the top of their head. And the male is 30 inches. Their weight can span, female to male, can span anywhere from 120 pounds 
to 230 pounds. Holy moly. Those are huge beasts. I'm ways more than you. Yes, that some of them do. <laughs> the bigger ones, yeah. Wow. That's so fun. Yeah, that's a big dog. <laughs> okay, so I did my first layer. Now I'm trying to look at this. So when I look at Mabel and Mabel, well actually we'll show the photo so you can see a little bit more. Do you see how there are some parts of Mabel that are a little bit lighter, kind of that lighter color, but then towards the, for the middle of the forehead, it kind of has a little hint of a gray. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have my black right here, but let me make some gray. And while it's still wet, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna add really small lines to that middle. Oh, let me go to my small brush, that might help a little bit. So I'm gonna add, so it's still wet, so I'm just gonna add some lines. So it kind of creates just a little bit more texture instead of being a solid color. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's really, really light. Very light. But I just thought to show that we're just doing those same movements that we learned, and that way it's just not one solid color, and it has a little bit of texture. Then let's paint. The ears, ooh, the black. That looks good. The ears of our English Mastiff. And then the nose. If you had a dog, Keenan, would you want a big dog or a small dog? I would want a medium dog with a lot of stout. Uh, actually, if I could have a dog, it would be a pit bull. I don't know if those are medium. They are. They're Is that what you think? That's what I think. Oh. Because um, if a light collie has a light medium build, they're speedy. Mm. My buddy had a pit bull, and while she was very active, her name was Mina, she was very sweet once she relaxed. <sighs> so sweet. But... She was pure muscle, oh, just solid muscle, and she looked <laughs> so cool. So I would say, if I could have one, that's what I would get. That's what you'd get. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we are done with Whoa. all of our watercolors. So that was so much fun. So you learned a few techniques that while we were doing that together. Now, I think, yeah, this one's dry. So what we're gonna do is, if this is a little wet, just remember what I was saying was you might need to hover a little bit, but I'm gonna use now my crayons and we're just gonna have a little fun and color things in. So for the eyes, a technique that I like when you're looking at these, do you see how they all have a little bit of a glisten to them, a shimmer? Oh yeah. And the reason why is because I left a little bit white. So when you're doing your eye, what I would do is leave a bigger circle and maybe a smaller circle. Your small, small circle might not show up, which is okay. But then you color in the outside like that and then it really pops. Mm. So maybe I'll just show you if I just do one circle that still works really, really great. And you can either use brown or black or maybe your dogs. Oh, I love, um, what are, when I think of Alaska, the Huskies. Oh my goodness. Where they have I two different Huskies. colors eyes. Yes. Those are those pretty. Are the, those are, oh. well now I've, I had never seen a picture of a rough collie. So now I think of a rough collie as being gorgeous and majestic and then a Husky and then I just, pit bull. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know? You know? So. I moved on to these eyes and this nose, but what I realized was when I was moving on so quickly, we're just gonna, I wanna show you one thing, is that you can also, I need to still paint the tongue, so I'll do that at the very end, I think, and I'll do a light pink by adding water to my red. But what I wanna show you is you have your crayons and you can use this also to add more texture and fur. So maybe you outline it a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of sketch some lines. Mm, so when I I'm do doing love this, the crayon look. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm pressing hard, but I'm not trying to make a really perfect line. I'm kind of making these strokes. I'm making my hand kind of move like that. And that way it kind of adds more movement. How's that look? 
That looks awesome. Yeah. Just brought it to life. So you can do the same thing as I'm gonna do small strokes, do this to cowboy. It makes me think of Clifford's, Clifford the Big Red Dog's oh. art. Is art? The art, like the art style in the, mm. in the books. I was gonna say, that'd be fun if you did Clifford. You can do a red one. Yeah, Clifford that would be was fun. red. And Clifford was truly massive. <laughs> So do you see that? How it just added some more texture with the crayon. Yes. So I'm gonna do all of that and then I'm gonna paint my tongue at the very end and then I'll meet you back for the last stuff. Okay, so I added the more texture. You will also see that I added some black eye patches to Mabel and then did the tongue. So here's the fun thing. You are done, but this is your painting. So if you wanna add more to it, I had a few ideas. What if you do, we did our doodle dogs project. So that was a fun one. Maybe they have speech bubbles or thought bubbles. Ooh, fun idea. Maybe you do their names. Favorite snacks. Favorite snacks. Yeah, you can do some, yeah, do a dog bone. Yep, ooh, that would be cool, a dog paw. Oh, wouldn't that be fun if you even did a dog paw? Or yeah. a paw or a bone, do and a, then wrote the name inside. A bone would look cool with a name inside. So there's so many fun ideas that you can do with this. So this was awesome. And I also wanted to give a shout out because not everyone has dogs. I actually grew up with a cat. So we have some cat projects too, but we also have, if you have a bird as a pit. Oh yeah. We have a flying parakeet project. So I want to give a shout out to Trinity, Connor, and McKinsey. And they did our flying parakeet project, and this was so awesome to see. So cute. So I just wanted you to know that there's so many other projects that if you want to join along, you can. Now, when you are done with this, I want you to take a photo and please share with us. We want to see, especially if you did your own dog, or maybe your neighbor's dogs or your friend's dog. Oh, yeah, a different dog than what we did today. Yeah. Yeah, because they're all different colors. So I want to see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects and Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. Come by and say hi and thank you for painting with me. This was so much fun. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative, and I will see you next time. 